everybody. Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony G. I'm so grateful to be here today with you, and I'm so grateful to be able to merge these two venues. I am going to be taking callers. If you get through today, please remember my switchboard is always completely full. But if you do get through today, please remember to have your question ready or your connection ready. I'll say your three-digit area code. You just tell me where you're from and what your name is. Please speak clearly because there's a lot of technology involved today. And please have your phone to your mouth. Please don't use a speaker phone or um, any other device that might make it a little bit more difficult for me to uh, hear you or understand what you're saying. Having said that, we are going to go to the very first caller. The very first caller is 646. Hello, 646. How are you doing today? Thank you. How are you? Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely my pleasure. Where are you calling from today? What's your name? Okay, my name is Perry, and I'm calling from New York City. Hi. Hello, New York. So excited to be on with Hello. New York today. So what's your... Yes, spring weather. Yeah, yes, finally. Finally, right? It's finally spring. Yay. So... Yes, that's what I was going to say. Spring is here in New York City. Yay. It's starting to be here. We still have big mounds of snow here in Wisconsin, but... A lot of it is gone. I see grass. It's not green, but I see it. And that's what counts, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Okay, love. Yeah, what's, how are you? I'm good. What? Okay. Let's get to your question today. What What would you like to know today? Okay, well, first of all, I'm going to give you a validation. I talked to you about six months ago, and I told you I do customer service. And I was looking for a job. I didn't get the job yet, but it gave me some uh, insight on myself on what to do when handling customers. You told me some of the customers are going to be irate and not to pay any attention. <laughs> and I've been doing it, and it works. Awesome. <laughs> and it's so funny. When, when someone becomes irate, I think about you. I believe it or not, your face comes to mind. I'm like, you know what? Let me just pull back a little bit because... They're not mad at me, they're mad at the situation. So absolutely. I want to you that and thank you for telling me. Absolutely, absolutely, my pleasure. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's okay. it's nice to get a validation. Uh, like, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. All right, so my next question today, now, today is, what is it? It is March 19th. So I, where I am right now, I need to move. I paid a realtor fee to help me find uh, a new place. So far, it's, a, it's only been a day or two, and I'm still looking on my own. So I just wanted to see if you see anything going to turn around soon for me in that uh, area I'm looking for a place to stay. Yeah, okay, so first, the first thing I'm getting is April, April, April. I feel like you actually are going to find this place, and I feel like even more so, this place is going to come through word of mouth. So maybe somebody you know, family, friend, acquaintance, is going to tell you about a place. Anything you hear about places, even, I feel like it's going to be word of mouth, but if you're driving by someplace and you see something, make sure you write down the number and double back to check it out. I feel like all of March is going to be, or what's left of March, is going to be a little bit frustrating, and you're going to feel like you're stuck through March, so let's clear that now. Ooh, that hit me in the chest. Um, and I feel like as you hit April, the moment, I, and I cannot even joke about this, the moment you hit April, you are going to fly. It's like a bird who is a baby bird who is stuck in a nest just looking at all the other birds flying, going, why can't I fly? Why can't I fly? Why am I stuck here? Then all of a sudden, yeah. April, the universe is going to push you out of your nest, and you are going to fly. <laughs> um, so I okay. want, yes, and, and everything is going to come in very quickly, Everything is going to start coming in extremely quickly, so you have to be
be very prepared to move very quickly. Okay? Okay. And one other but one other message that I'm getting for you that's really important have your ducks in a row like when they say you need to be ready to move quickly they're saying like have your paperwork that you're going to need in order have your references in order I feel like April is going to be the month that pushes you forward, not only in your living situation, but in your work situation. Um, at work, and, and this is really important, at work, keep on doing what you're doing. Be calm, be patient. Somebody's watching you, and it will pay off in a very good way. I see somebody has eyes on you, and those eyes are not watching you in a negative way, but in a positive way. You're gonna get some sort of positive reinsurance reassurance within a month or by the month's end, okay? Oh my gosh, it's so funny that you said that. I'm gonna, I don't know if you're going to be too good myself, and I keep seeing a vision of a new position. It's at the same company, but it's a new position, uh -huh. and I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to stay calm, so hopefully I do get that new position, but I, I feel something coming up. There is. There's going to be an opportunity for that, and there's going to be two opportunities for positions outside of your company. You just stay positive. You stay in that right mind. Okay. You let yourself go to work every day knowing you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and everything will fall into place. Okay, love? Okay, thanks, sir. All right. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. And I will give you a call back to let you know what's coming back. I love that. Thank you so much. I can't wait for that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you. Have a blessed day. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about one of my books before I go to the next caller. Channeled Messages from Above is one of my favorite books, and these are poems that have been channeled from above to help us evolve and understand this plane a little bit more. It is available on amazon.com just to like give myself a little push because I don't promote myself well enough, I've been told, and I'm trying to do better at that. <laughs> so let's go to the next caller who is 917. Hello, 917. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hey, hey, Tony. Thanks for taking my call. Are you doing here? My name is Chip from New York. Hi, Chip. Another New Yorker. I yeah. love this. We're all about the East Coast today. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on WSCS, Psychic Medium, Tony G. What's your question, love? Uh, so my question is, do you just have any messages uh, from here or from the other side? Just in reference oh, to me wait. changing my job slash career. Um, I've been doing... I've been Looking only theoretically in my mind, without actually looking. Uh, so I've just been trying to tap into some intuition on which way to go, or uh, the right place for my time, or hearing something opportunity. So I'm just doing the work. 15 minutes before I go to sleep, 15 minutes a day, a little meditation, trying to tap into spirit. Do you have any messages for me in the thought that? Or just in general? Okay. I appreciate it. Okay, so first, uh, let's focus in on your work. <sighs> Let's focus in on your work. And, you know, the, the one thing that, okay, we're not going to focus in on your work, apparently. I thought we were, but they're telling me no. Um, the one thing that they are saying is that turn your 15 minutes into 30 minutes and you will have much better results. Start with a 10-minute letting all your thoughts come up and getting rid of them. And then the next 20 minutes, forget about your body and move into your mind, but not into your mind, your thinking mind, but the mind, um, I, I want to uh, explain this appropriately and not to woo-woo for everybody, but like your mind that connects to God, your mind that connects to the all that is. So don't think about your mind as it would be said, but when you go to that place, just either say softly, t like take a breath in and say the word love and exhale and say the word God, 
breathe a couple more times, and then if your mind wanders, do that again. But most importantly, listen to the messages that they're gonna give you when you do this. So the most important message for you today is turn your 15 into 30, and then spend a minimum of 20 doing that soft breath work with, with those two words. Okay, love? Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you so very much for calling in today. Uh, call back and let me know how that works for you, okay? Sure. You got it. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to go directly to the next caller and the next caller... In a second, we will go to the next caller. Here we go. The next caller is um, 775. Hello, 775. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Good afternoon, Tony. My name is Wendy. Hi, Wendy. How are you? I had a terrible fall and I almost broke my Wendy, ankle. I'm off Wendy. work for a week, but I'm going to ask my doctor for another week off. But the real reason I called to me is because I have been online for a great job for dental insurance, call center. It's been a couple of weeks, so I know sometimes no news is good news, but do you see me uh, changing jobs within the next couple months or weeks? Uh, I feel like, I, so first I need to tell you our connection is really um, staticky. Um, I'm going to answer your question, but I'm going to turn your phone off so that that static doesn't come through on the line here. Uh, so keep listening, Wendy. I'm going to tell you that I do see you getting another position. You have to be very diligent and you have to work very um the word is diligently to get that position, okay? I'm sorry about your accident, and I hope you feel better very soon. Um, okay, so again, folks, if you're when you're calling in, please have your phone um, on your ear, so to say, so that we have a really clear connection and I can understand everything that you're saying. I'm going to go directly to 860. Hello, 860. How are you today? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Oh, my God. Amla, how are you? I'm good. It's so wonderful to hear from you. So, Same here. I moved back to you. It's so I, beautiful. I love your voice. I love you, too. Thank you so much. If you keep, if you keep complimenting me, I'm going to memorize your number and put you at the top every time. So... <laughs> I'm joking. Amla, <laughs> what's going on? What do you need today? Okay, so I am really, I'm really excited. Okay, so I am, I just am so in love with this guy. And it's just, it's just, it's beating me. It's going all over the place. And I haven't told him because I think men need to be just shown and telling them doesn't make it that I don't know. Okay, so let me get to my question. I guess. Do you see him and I in a committed relationship? This person is absolutely amazing. Okay, so here's what I want to tell you. You have to go very slow, okay. and you have to play a little bit not so eager and not so available, okay? One yes. of the things yes. with us as women is we have all these feelings first, and we just want to talk about them. We want to tell the guy, oh, my God, I love you so much. I have made that mistake. I have. Because yes. guys look at relationships like businesses. They look at them more pragmatically. They're not head over heels, yes. especially at our age. Maybe when we were 18, it was all goo goo gaga with the guy, too. Yes. But they're, right? Yeah. But now they are more reserved. They watch and see how right. things unfold. And guys fall in love almost by accident now. They're not planning it. Trust yeah. me, if a guy at this point in the game realizes they can be single, they're okay with that. They've learned yeah. how to cook and wash their own clothes, and the rest is history. So you need this yeah. guy... First, I want you to stop asking if he wants you. I want you to look. I know okay. you think this guy is amazing now, and everything is about him is amazing, 
because you know that's how we get in the beginning of something we're like oh my god we don't see their flaws so because we're so busy because we're so enamored with them what i need you to do is step back and really look at who this guy really is and then I want you to ask, okay. is this what I really want? And more importantly, they are telling me, when you talk to him, when you meet with him, you need to be the counselor. You need to ask those open-ended questions that let you really know who he is and where he's coming from. You need to let okay. him get to okay. know you before you give him any more uh, uh, of your like truths about how you feel about him. He knows you like him. You're out with him. Okay, guys have no self esteem issues. I'm just saying, they they don't. They're not like us. They're not like. Does he like my hair? Is is this outfit okay? They show up and they're like, this is good food, and that's literally what they've been thinking through the whole date. This is good food. I like this beer. This was good wine. I think I'll order this wine again. They're not going, does she like me? Am I saying the right thing? That's our job, apparently. So what I want to tell you when you are talking with him, I want you to have that same perspective. Look at it as, in this moment, I'm having a good time. In this moment, everything is okay. Ask those open-ended questions, and then really just allow him to unfold his true self to you. Okay, love? Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, yes. where this goes, there's two people involved. Any two people can make anything work as long as both of them are ready, willing, and able to do the work. I am going to tell you, right. it's going to get a little complicated for you because at the end of March and then again in the and again, let me repeat that one more time. At the end of March, and then again, at the beginning of April, you have new men coming into your life. Whether you keep these men as friends or go on dates with them, that's your choice. Now, until somebody gives you a solid commitment like we're exclusively dating, date. Yes. Until somebody says, listen, okay. we are this Date. And I will tell you this. Do you know why men love their Super Bowl rings? Because not everybody gets one and they have to work really, really hard for it. So you have to let a man work really, really hard for you. They know you like them. You showed up for the date. Now, let them show you what they have to offer instead of being willing to say, I'll take whatever you're putting on the table. Okay, right. sweetie? Right, so I'm telling you, so basically between March, like the end of March and April, I'll have some choices, but pretty much, see, I, I think I know, intuitively I know myself, I'm going to know, I'm going to know, these are just maybe filler in people to maybe, maybe make my decision wisely and totally, like, go with my heart and know what I want. Okay, That's so this is the in. way I say it also. Right? Yes and no, yes. Um, men know, like men are never thinking this is the one, she's the only woman, I until they've really invested that time and energy in us and know we're a solid, stable person. Now women, we see the man we know right away and then we can't see any other man fitting the mold. What they're saying for you is, when these men come in, it's for, it's, it's for a couple of different reasons. The first reason being to show you there are other men out there that are really fantastic and really very interested in you, okay? So don't feel okay. like, yeah. don't feel like this is it, and if this doesn't work, that's it. Sometimes when we have a really nice uh, sauce on the back burner, the front burner doesn't seem like the all that is, and then they have to work a little bit harder to get us. It's, it's what we need to get that front burner burning a little bit hotter. Does that make sense to you? Right. That's a beautiful way that, that the angels just put that to you. I love it. It does. It, it, does. Yeah. it you know, is. The lesson, the, the lesson is, the beautiful lesson is that, you know, you know when you deserve and the value. And I think exactly. that's why exactly this is all unfolding the way it is. I know who I am, and I know my value 
the woman that I and, and the man that I deserve. So right. there you go. It's beautiful. And, and we can't let that oh my God, this guy is perfect thing get in the way of really looking because in the beginning when we meet a guy and there's that chemistry we do think they're perfect but then like six months later we're going where did Mr. Perfect go <laughs> so, I know. so just just I know well you know what's funny though the funny thing is you you predicted this the last eight last May I met this guy and it has been this it's been the, I had a private reading with you it's yes. the same person but he's energy has completely changed. I have not seen him since December of 2018. I've mm -hmm. not seen him since before winter officially began. Here it is spring tomorrow. So it's just fascinating. His energy is completely shifted. Completely. Nice. Nice. Um, but I could be excited, uh, you know, behind closed doors, but I want to keep my, you know, myself coy, as right. you call it. Right. Be cool. Be coy. Just let it be and let it unfold. Yes, absolutely. And thank you for that second confirmation of the show. This guy is going to be in and out for a while. Um, if you want to play the long game, you can play the long game. But I also want to tell you, there are going to be other people coming in. So please make sure you're paying attention to who else is in the picture. Okay, sweetie? I will. Thank you. So, so much, and God bless. Thank you. God bless, Amla. Have an amazing day. You too. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Okay, this show is going so perfect so far. I am so excited. I have the greatest cameramen and the greatest editors that are making all of this come together beautifully. Thank you, Rich, Rob, and Scott. I love you guys so much. Okay, we're going to go to 239 next. Hello, 239. How are you today? Hi. Um, hey. Hi, Tony. I'm good. Uh, I'm calling from Florida. Love that. And my name's Lana. Lana. That's a beautiful name. How can I help you today, Lana? Well, thank you. Uh, I want to know if you see uh, any travel in my future, either uh, foreign or domestic. Actually, as soon Coming as you... Up. As soon as you said that, I heard both. I feel like you are going to be going overseas. You're going to be going, are you, they're saying home, home, home. So wherever, uh, I don't know what that means to you, but I'm hearing home, home, home. And then I feel like, Lana, I have to ask a silly question because I'm hearing this and I just want to get a confirmation. Do you know if you're going to be coming into some money soon? No, I don't. Oh, well, keep your eyes and your I, pockets I open. I feel like I'm hearing oh. you might be coming into a, a little, a little extra money, and it will make your travels just a little bit more comfortable. And they're saying there's a possibility or the potential for up to three, three trips coming in. Um, one, three? one. Three? One of them is foreign, one of them is domestic, and then the last one you can decide on your own where you uh, want to go with that. Okay, love? Wow. That's wonderful. I'd like to travel. I've been thinking about it. I'd it's like time. to do more traveling. And yeah. I, I, I do want to tell you, you are going to find some really good deals, and I feel like you will be traveling with someone else or other people. This is not going to be a solar solo solo venture okay no I, yeah I, no definitely don't want a solo yeah these trips are <laughs> that, going to that, happen that's a no <laughs> yeah and i do feel like these trips are going to happen over the next year to a year and a half and you have to okay. plan them strategically don't get overwhelmed by any of the details. Let other people also help you plan. I know we can be the type of people that sometimes we need to know everything and kind of try to micromanage that. But they are saying, don't worry about it. Everything's going to fall into place exactly the way it's supposed to. And when you go with other people on a vacation, it's about everybody's experiences. So make sure everybody is putting mm -hmm. their two cents in and you're really all in on the journey, okay? 
Okay, that sounds wonderful. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, thank yeah. you. I look forward to it. Excellent. I'll let you know. Please, I'll please do. Back. Please call me oh, back and let oh, me okay. know. Okay. You see, you see, you see Florence first. Is that what you said? Uh, I think you're going to go someplace. The way it looks right now, and you can change this if you'd like to. The foreign one will be the second or the last one. There's going to be some place you go domestically or more, you know, within the the area first. Okay, sweetie. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Have an amazing okay. rest of the day. Thank you. All right. You too. Okay. That is amazing. So I want to thank everybody for listening in and watching in on um, Psychic Medium Tony G. This was our first multimedia, multi-technical show, and I'm really excited for the way it turned out. I'm here uh, once a month doing this show, so we will be back. I will post it. If you did not get through today, you can call in Monday to my show, Messages from Above. Call in Monday at noon. I'll be happy to get you through then. Now, I do this show, Psychic Medium Tony G, once a month, and please tune in to WSCS for that show. And you can watch all my past episodes of this and create a life you love. I want to thank you again for tuning in today. And I want to let you know... Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. I am so grateful. Whoops. Whoops. The one technical area error was on me, folks. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.